Alright guys, welcome back Grand Training Systems. It's a bit late, uh, we got a full house. Uh, we're actually in my house using the rehabilitation physio office that uh, <laughs> I use quite a bit but it's never been in the video. So a nice opportunity for you to see where I do some of my work. Um, Olga is behind the camera and Gucci is in love, my dog Gucci is in love with Olga so we've got a full room today, yeah? So uh, let's get started. Today the video is going to be on the neck and uh, how to release some of the pain and the tension that we have from people that work, that study, or read a possible book now and again, we, we have definitely experienced some neck pain. So I think with those three categories, that constitutes about 150% of us. So uh, what I've got here is a Supernova ball. It's not so important that you have this exact ball. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on Rogue, you can buy this, sure. But the important thing is you have a ball that's a little bit larger than a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, and it's, it's not too soft. So uh, starting with this, I'm going to work on the right side of my neck today just to make the video a bit quicker. And uh, you're obviously able to work on both sides, but like I said, I work on the right. So basically, ball's going to go down just like this. I'm going to get it right on my neck, and I'm just going to start in a comfortable position, rolling my neck left to right over the ball. Right away, you're, you, you might feel some pretty big flips. <sighs> if... Um, yeah, even if they, if you feel some big flips, that don't don't think your spine's gonna pop out of your face. Yeah, it's, it's okay. This is just again any flip like any other part of the muscle. But sometimes people get worried because it becomes in the neck. So don't worry. Just go soft and keep working through that tissue. So as I move a little bit deeper on my neck, mine get a little bit thicker. So you can hold your head. You don't have to hold your head. You can hold it with both. For the camera's sake, I'm gonna take my hand away. And then what you can also do is you can kind of just shift your hips up and down on the floor. And this allows your neck to then move up and down. And basically this allows either north to south movement or left to right. And you can even kind of continue to turn your head while you're doing it. There's no wrong way. One thing I do like to tell people to do is try to get the ball a little bit under their ear. Because as you start getting around in that tissue, you're going to notice, especially right next to the skull, it starts getting usually a bit tender because we're just getting in some muscles that really basically hold our head every single day in the place that we need it especially when we're reading or working it gets that tight tension to always make sure that we're able to focus and these are the tissues just get extremely tight so I'm gonna work up well, I would work on this for minimum five minutes again always kinda of changing the position sometimes in this position I like to use both hands to really relax my neck so the muscles can relax and continue just to work on all of those tissues. You can look up, you can look down, you can turn your head. Really just get creative on how you're doing it. And then after that, usually what I do is I sit against my couch because I'm a bit shorter, but I'm gonna sit against this table here. And what we do here, you can sit in any way which is comfortable for you. It doesn't matter, I'll sit Indian style for the uh, video's sake and purpose here. And then what I like to do is I like to just slowly pull my neck and start playing with my arm. And what you're going to notice with my right arm, because again, I'm working on the right side, what you're going to notice is this: you start pulling your head a little bit, depending on the position of your arm, you can really start feeling some different stretches within the muscles here. And basically, while we don't have a neck muscle that connects to our fingers, so to speak, we do have these fascial lines, or fascia of Deutsch, yeah? And what this is doing is basically, it's, it's connecting <laughs> basically our finger to our head, yeah? So if this fascia, this tissue is getting tight, it's also pulling on our muscles, which is preventing our neck from moving freely. So why it's important to focus just on really stretching the, the muscles in your shoulder, I'll say the names, it's also nice to really start kind of in, involving, if you will, the arm. And you'll notice as you start doing this, even though your arm is not on stretch, you'll start feeling some really interesting stretches deeper in your biceps or deeper in your arm. And just play with these positions and you might even feel a slight burning sensation that's either probably because it's really tight just go very easy on this for a, a long time there's really no proof or, or research I think that can prove this but we, we, we wonder a lot if we're even able in a position where we're not really laying down to open up the muscles of the neck 
because we believe that kind of since the brain is in the head, it, 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 it has a safety mechanism. So when we are putting ourselves in a position where maybe it feels like it could be in harm's way, it creates a, a, a tension, yeah, a subconscious tension, if you will, and doesn't really allow the muscles to open up. So this is usually why I like to sit against a wall or a couch, or for this example, a table, because I think when we release the tension from our upper body versus me sitting and holding it up, I personally think that relaxes our nervous system a little bit more. And you can really start to feel that if you hold this position for 30, 45 seconds or longer, that really starts to open up. And while we don't really know if it's true that the neck will open up if we're not lying down or if our subconscious creates this tension, you, you, there's no science that will say anything, it's just what you think. So do these stretches for about 3 to 5 minutes and you will notice when you're done, you will notice a massive um, release, if you will, in that tissue. So again, about, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5 hours, whatever you want to do with the ball, just open up that neck and then really lightly just work on these tissues here and really find different directions, both with your 